and tonic. Uh, the, free, the, the free text ones, this is just where people were making uh, their own sort of free text comment to it. Uh, there is this, as a, as a re result of some of the comments, I've, I've put up the anonymous feedback uh, for it. So as I say, trying to be factual and constructive, polite, all that sort of thing. Uh, the more information you supply, the better it can be to it. Um, I grouped it together into common themes, if you like. I'm not going to display every single comment uh, that we said. I mean, there weren't a huge amount of comments. Most people were just sort of building the, the major part and didn't uh, leave much behind. Uh, but the things that people were saying, the best things about it, uh, it seems to be that people do enjoy actually using real devices, uh, writing stuff that actually makes something happen. Uh, to it, something move, something light up, or when you when you press a button, something sort of uh, turned on. So that that seemed to be a positive thing coming uh, out there. Um, the the teaching seems to have gone down well uh, with with a lot of people. So it defined it, hopefully sort of uh, interesting to follow uh, and the like. Uh, for it, the the assignment and the labs were. were particularly mentioned as well as being interesting sort of things to do. Now you may not agree with that yourself, so I think I'm just reflecting what came back through to the, the best things. Quite a few people saying they like the demos uh, that they were going on, or that, the number in the brackets is the number of people who mentioned something in that sort of area. Yeah, somebody actually, yeah, did come out to say, I think all, all people think that assignments, not exams, that's generally fairly uh, popular uh, for it. Um, one, you know, the, 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 the videos being available may be sort of useful uh, there if people missed a session or something <coughs> talked over. Uh, probably more of interest is like what could be improved uh, for it. And again, I sort of group them together into themes uh, for it and what, what we intend doing uh, about these. Uh, there is an assumption of knowing Android. Yeah, that's, that's the case. We've got the assumption that you've done uh, the mobile app development uh, from it. Uh, now, there, are, there have been a few people in the lab so you're sort of scratching their heads because I, I appreciate it's either six months ago or something like that that you might have done it or a year and six months ago if you've been out on placement uh, for it. Um, I'm sorting out one case of somebody who says he's never actually done it before. I'll need to sort of do, do something there. But already made available just for reminders, last year's notes for people who somehow uh, lost them or don't have access to them. I don't have your assignments, unfortunately, from last year uh, to, to be out. I would have hoped that you might have those stashed away uh, for it. And I've put some extra material on how to do basic things like make a network connection, uh, how to add uh, a button handler, uh, how to, put the, to set something in a text view, those sorts of things. We're not really pushing the, the development of Android that much further than what you've already done. We're not sort of learning a lot of new Android techniques. We're just saying, well, given that we've, we've got this basic knowledge of Android, we want to link it into doing uh, other, other stuff to it there. Um, the availability of where, where you can get hold of it. Um, some people said it wasn't available in the library. I thought there was a set of library PCs with uh, science and engineering um, image sort of a set up uh, for it. I think there is a, a, a set of that. I know in general it's, it's not sort of available in the, in the library but there's a specific set of machines that we did get set up um, before the beginning of last year so if you don't know where they are, I can't remember the actual sort of location of them like, if people do let me, like, let me know now but, uh, but so there's those technicians in C2 or you know uh, but, or just asking the library, have you got some that are specifically devoted to science and engineering? Uh, this issue with the uh, labs going too fast, yeah, that was a big theme uh, over it. Lots of people sort of saying, yeah, the labs are going sort of too fast. So, uh, acting upon that, we now do spread them over, uh, or I have spread them over a long time, like giving two sessions to that introductory sort of Android one. Future sessions, once we've got over the MQTT part as well. Just about all sessions are going to be devoted to assignments and, and sort of help things, build, building up your skills from uh, previous ones. And again, this similar one that I mentioned before about some people saying they're too trivial uh, to perhaps sort of come and chat about how you might 
excelling the module uh, by telling me what you intend doing or what you have done uh, for it. A couple mentioned they want the, the, they were hoping to do more mobile phone uh, development. Well, all next terms are my iOS development. Not much I can do about that, tell you the truth, that other than saying, well, at least 50% of the module is on mobile phone development next term, and 20% of the assignment is on using mobile phone for some time, and we're, we're sort of doing some uh, right now for it. Uh, I will need to consult over this next one, the uh, problem with running Android Studio in the labs. It can be a bit sort of tricky to get the right image to, to run some of these on. Not every single image is, is available, and we're having to tweak some of the settings. Now in some ways that's a good and a bad thing. It's good that you can um, play about with a, a setup to, to change some of the settings of what libraries might be available, which version of the Gradle build to use. Um, that's the sort of thing that's in demand for a company that you were working for, the fact that you can sort of play about with that background, but appreciate that it does take time off your, your lab uh, time for it. I'm going to ask some of the technicians if we can get some more uh, versions of the emulators uh, downloaded uh, or uh, particular versions of Android, say, downloaded. Again, a bit of feedback there might be useful if you can be specific in saying, uh, can we have this version uh, available? It's a thing that we're using a lot outside. It'd be a bit difficult to do it just for one person uh, out of 120 people in here, but if it's, a, if it's a common thing, that's why I encourage you to give some of this feedback of what's needed. And finally, yeah, somebody's clearly not happy with how things are going. Uh, it's taught badly, uh, but again, that was just a one-off a one -off comment uh, to it. No uh, backup to how it might be sort of improved. So if that person can give some anonymous feedback to say, well, what can we do? Uh, we've highlighted there basically the changes to the to the go ahead. So if you want a copy of that, yeah, that's available there. And the, the link just to say um, the anonymous uh, sort of thing uh, there for it. Oh, sorry, I think you need an EPMNU one. I'll be great if you contact and give the anonymous feedback if you blocked it. I will check that. Um, the other... After, uh, the, the, the thing that's sort of going over today now, I've generally set off with some sort of demo. Uh, I'm going to have a look at this site. It's not a, a physical demo as such. No sort of nice <coughs> equipment put up on the front to show, to show you. Uh, but it's a nice site to, to become aware of and to start to use, IFTTT, uh, if this then that. Uh, it's a, a non-programmatic way of linking together IoT devices from a variety of different manufacturers. Uh, so how to link, say, uh, Facebook with your heating controller. Uh, how to link Twitter to your uh, front door. The, you know, like, say somebody, if you've got uh, some sort of gadget on your front door that uh, picks up with a little sort of video camera who's there, how can you maybe feed that sort of thing out to your Facebook uh, page to, to give us a sort of live feed of that. And if this, then that is the, the, the term comes from, well, if this event's detected, then trigger this event. And um, most of the uh, IoT and sort of web services type uh, organizations have thrown their lot in with this and offer links into their, their software uh, to it. So, so long as you let uh, them sort of with a suitable security token, let them access, say, your lights uh, to it. You, you can say, well, when this occurs, turn my uh, light on. You can just go there and you create an account, uh, and this is the sort of front page uh, for it, and a few sort of recommendations of what's, uh, what's been sort of going on. Uh, start playing music when you connect to a Bluetooth device. Um, or disconnect. Uh, the, these are the, the, some of the, the, the sort of new ones uh, that are coming out. Uh, to give you an idea of some of the ones that I've sort of put on myself, uh, my efforts. Uh, a few of them I've got the, if you remember I mentioned the, 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 the flick button, the sort of password for, for demos. 
Uh, got a few of those controller things around the house saying, well, if you uh, double click it, then turn the heating down in the bedroom, single click, make it warmer. So it's basically a, a heating controller uh, turned it into. Uh, there's some of the flick uh, ones that I did, linking it in with um, a little, what's called a do button, the precursor to one of these flick buttons when you click it to warm things up, linking it in with Amazon Alexa, recognising phrases. These are all tend to be things to do with the, the home uh, there, there for it. Uh, but if I give you an example of a new one to, to create, and show you how it is sort of basically non-programming. It's aimed at, I mean, still technically minded people, but not, um, not necessarily sort of programmers. So the if this is a thing that it can detect for it. And we've got uh, a variety of um, services that people are, uh, are sort of offered. Either linking something into, say, your Facebook account there, um, some sort of stocks-related one, Instagram, Gmail thing, so all these things that you might have online accounts with, that you've sort of registered with and, and you sort of presumably act upon uh, at, at, at some point. So I could say, for example, if I link it into something like a, a Facebook page, uh, I might want it to turn my...